Hey guys, I am super excited. I am here to do my TBR jar of the month for March. I am so excited about March, January, and February. I had a great reading month. Um, I finished most, here, let me bend down here and grab this book. Um, I have most of my reading done that I wanted to accomplish. There's a couple books that I didn't get to for the month, but February is short, so I'm not too bummed about it. And towards the end, I was doing catch up on some other things. With that being said, um, I want to tell you about what I've accomplished in as far as my TBR jar for February. I did my standalone and just finished my standalone. I came in under the wire because I got the ocean, um, Neil Gaiman's The Ocean at the End of the Lane, which is definitely hits the dark, dark um, type of theme. So definitely dark, definitely a standalone. And that one was taken care of. Fantasy, I done. You know I read tons of fantasies this month, so take your pick. Uh, Paranormal Creatures, I did the fairy book, uh, Glimmer Glass by Jenna Black, so I finished that one. And then the 500 plus pages, I did um, Days of Blood and Starlight, which I have up there, so to be shelved for the end of the month. And yeah, oh, and then fairy tale, I mean retelling. I was going to pick a fairy tale retelling, you know that, because for fairy for fairies this month, and that kind of fell at the wayside, but that's okay. I meant to read more fairies, and I didn't, but I did do a retelling of sorts, and the book series that I finished is Brody Ashton's um, Ever, Evernight, or yeah, Evernight, Ever True, and Everbound, or something like that, and I did those, and um, I'm... <laughs> It's supposed to be a retelling of Persephone and Hades, and it definitely was in the beginning more so like that, but then as it went on, it kind of changed. I'm counting it for that, but if you guys don't think I should, let me know. If you don't think I should, then let me know what I should do, because then I didn't complete the challenge. <laughs> Just saying. Um, so I'm kind of at, you know, kind of like, mm, should I count it? Should I not count it? But right now I'm going to say yes, and then I'll go for there. But that leaves me with an issue. Okay, last year and the years before, Jade and I came up with that game where we drew the drew the TBR jars things and then we kept points and we did all that. Well, I don't have Jade to keep me track, keep track of me, and I don't have her to keep track of her, and we just don't do the points anymore. So now, what do I do if I don't read the jar books from the TBR jars or fulfill the requirements? I don't know what to do yet. I'm kind of throwing things out. I don't know if maybe. If I don't read all five books, do I give some books away? Do I um, donate money do, to a, a charity uh, for reading or whatever? Or do I read more books that month? Let me know what your guys' thoughts and things are. I'm kind of like, you know, on the fence. Do I buy less books? That type of thing. You know, if I don't complete, I can't buy any books type of for that month. Let me know what you think because... I am definitely kind of like wondering how do I keep myself on track and stuff if it's just myself going against myself type of thing. I'm not going to give myself points to go against me. <laughs> it's just kind of dumb, I think. But unless you guys have a good strategy for it where I accumulate points and maybe reward myself or, you know, that type of thing. So let me know what you think. I'm curious. Um, I'm still kind of working it out, but I would love to know anybody's ideas. Because, hey, I could use some. <laughs> Anyways, let's get on to the jar. And I've got my dice. And I rolled a two. Yay. I rolled a two. <coughs> Which, okay, the first book, oh, the first thing for the theme. Oh, it's endings. Okay, I will lay that right there. So I, now my theme is endings. So I have to read an ending, Ooh, which could be bad. Oh, no, I got two. I rolled a two, so I'm good. I can pick out two. That'll work, but let me put this ending over here because I don't want it in this pile. I've got fairy tale retelling. So, with that being said, huh, do I have any that I haven't already done? And then I have paranormal creatures. What is with that? I got that last time. Okay, so I have paranormal creatures and I have fairy fairy tale retellings and I have to do two of them that have endings to a series or something that I'm doing. Hmm. I will be right back and uh, with my picks. 
All right, guys, I am back. I have, for my fairy tale retelling, I have Hunted by Megan Spooner. This one is a Beauty, Be Beauty and the Beast retelling, and it's a standalone, so it works for endings because there's not going to be any more after this one. So I like that idea. I can get it all done in one fell swoop. And I've been wanting to read this book, and uh, as you guys know from when I ordered it and it came in my book also, <laughs> definitely my pick for March. So that's cool. And then I've got Ungodly by Kendar Blake, which I started it, but then realized I had to put it down because I was in the first chapter and realized I can't read this because I have so many other books that on my TBR to read for the month. So yes, this definitely has paranormal creatures in it, so it definitely qualifies for the paranormal creatures. And I'm excited to be reading this. All right, guys, I'm going guys, <laughs> that is what I've got. Let me, like I said, let me know be below. I've got a couple of readathons I'm going to be taking place in, um, taking part in this month, um, read a Rama and I believe the reread, re the re-readathon. So re-readathon, yes. And I can't think of who the people are hosting it. But as it gets closer, I'll give you all that information. I know Rita Rama starts on the 3rd, so look for a video real soon for that. And I will see you guys again soon. Bye.